Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Aghaev from Azerbaijan taking gold at the Paris Grand Slam in 2023. He had a really spectacular performance, just throwing everyone with his signature move. It's a Yoko Otoshi, sometimes he turns it into a Kataguruma, but the way he sets it up, it's really, really slick. So what he likes to do is he likes to kind of wait for people to do some sort of Ashiwaza, whether it's a Kochigari or a, a Kosotogari, and then he will just kind of counter it with a, a Yoko Otoshi, which is pretty crazy. So if you're a Kataguruma guy or a Yoko Otoshi guy and you want to see some pointers, well, this is the guy to look at because he is really good at it. So this first contest now against Tataki from Brazil. And here I thought Tataki was going to throw him because Tataki had all the movement, but he just found the right timing to jump in there. It's actually quite incredible. So Tataki's flicking, flicking the gi up and down and on the down movement, Akayev goes in for the, the Yoko Otoshi. Don't you think this is, that's pretty slick, right? That's really, really slick stuff. Round three now. And this is against the Mongolian, Bayam Bajav. I think I said that right, Bayam Bajav. And showing a bit of Nerwaza now, which is a really good skill to have. I think if you're gonna go for these kind of sacrificial throws, you know, Yoko Toshi or Kataguruma or Tomoe Nage, Obi Torigaishi, these kinds of things, you gotta have good Nerwaza. So Aghaev, he looks pretty good in that department as well. But he definitely didn't need his Nawaza. He just started throwing people with this Yoko Otoshi all day long. So here's a throw now. So the Mongolian starts putting some attacks together. And then on the return gets the counter. We'll have a look at it again. There's the Kosoto, looks for the Uchimata. And on the return, as he recedes his foot, he just sticks with it. Really nice stuff. Quarterfinal here against Nozadzi. And I thought Nozadzi, I mean I picked him as... One of the favorites to win but he's he's been away for a while so i guess i didn't really think about that but here he is putting the pressure on a newaza and doesn't get a hold down but that you know kind of demoralizes people burns their stamina a bit looking for another counter here being a bit more aggressive in the newaza too almost gets a hold down here but nozazi he does well he does well to roll out of this I mean, he's still, he's, he's still in it. There we go. Just missed out on a Wazadi. But still though, it does not feel good to be Nozadzi in this position. And then going back to the tried and true, this time a Kataguruma, I would say. And he's so good at it. Semi-final time, and this is against Bakhti Yorov from Uzbekistan. Obviously the Uzbekistan team's been quite exceptional recently but Aghaev throwing him not only once but twice with the Kataguruma I mean for this one he didn't even set it up he just ducks his head under and goes for it so his technique really good and in the final against the Frenchman Revel so it's a little bit of pressure you know French crowd against a French judoka but just managed to keep doing what he was doing all day long and by the time you get to this point I mean everyone knows what you're gonna do and you can see Revel I mean he's He's trying so hard to defend it, but it's just unstoppable. This technique is unstoppable. It'll be interesting to see in the future, you know, what he does against Takato. I don't see him countering Takato's Kochigari with this sort of move, but you never know. And there it is. That's the that's the counter off the Yashiwaza. So watch this. In goes the Kochi. And then he just jumps on it. It does look slightly dangerous, but still, he knows what he's doing. Amazing stuff. I'll see you later, guys. Peace.